Hi, thank you for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to do a tarot spread for the next week. Okay, so today I have the lovely cards again by Louise Benton. I'll put it up if you can. Whoops, just put one up if you do wish to go over to her website. Okay, so just like last week, I don't need that one, so I'll put that one away. I've got a few packs here today, so stand by because I'm going to look at each card that I get from the three decks that I've got, and I'm going to say the relevance between the three of them, okay? So the first one, Louise's cards are quite big, so I shuffle them this way. So I've already connected with them before I started turning on the computer. So I'm asking for one card, one card that represents what we need for the next week. For the whole world, what is the card that represents what we need to do for the next week? Please throw me out one card. That's all I'm requiring. One card to the universe. So as I shuffle, guys, I always put out that intention of the question of what I wish to ask the cards. I always let the universe throw out the card for me. That's my technique. Okay. And I also go through a little ritual with my cards first. So I've got this pack as well as the other two packs here in front of me on the table that you can't see. So when I do get all the cards out, they're all connected as one. Okay. All right, let's just keep going with my intention. I'm doing a global card that represents everyone on the planet for the next week. I don't think I'm supposed to have this one first. I'm getting told don't have this one first. So I'll just go for about another 10 seconds, see if one throws out or else I'll go to my next pack. Okay. I am only a servant for the universe. I don't try and control the outcome and I will never use my ego in doing this work. Okay. Any work that I do. All right. So just one card, one card that the universe, that the whole planet needs to hear for the next week. Please just throw me out one card. One card. Okay. I'm going to stop this because they've been telling me all morning to use my deck. These are the ones that I use. Look how thick they are. Okay. I keep them in a little brown box, which is here. Red lined. Hello, it's my favorite color. And inside I have my chakra wand with all the crystals on it. Okay. So my cards live in this box. This little cord that you can see, that's a le leather natural. It's leather. And I put that around my cards just to keep them into their little pile so they don't crumble and break. Okay, so let's see if they want to show me one of these ones first. So this is my card deck. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of cards in this deck. So I always do refer back to the book that came with it. Okay. So let's see if they want to throw me one out of here. So connecting with these cards now, show me one card for the next week, what the whole world needs to know, something that we can learn from, something that we need to look at ourselves and decipher within ourselves if it's something that we can use or if it's something that we're already doing in our lives. So it's giving us that grace knowing that we've been recognized or rewarded for doing the work that we're doing. Okay. There are a lot of warriors out there at this point um, doing some amazing work on behalf of the universe. You know, I firmly believe that the angels make us do their work on their behalf. They put us into those synchronicities. They put us into those, oh my God, I can't believe I was in that right time at that exact moment when I had to do that. Okay, I saw something that a blink of an eye and I would have missed it. Oh, and I just got a card thrown out. Okay, so I've already got my card. Here's my card. Now, I don't use sleight of hand. This is actually called the strength card. So I'm going to put him down. And now, you're telling me to use these ones last. You know I've got a girl with me, right? She's saying, use those ones last, Linda. Okay. So now I'm going into this little pack of little love cards that I got. Little tiny little cards. Every one of them has the angel dove on the front so let me just shuffle these ones now thank you so much for letting me use you 
okay oh my god how fast did that one throw out so I'll just put them over there so you can see I'm not using that pack here they are okay so now let's go back to Louise's pack let's see if there's one in here now that they want me to have I've got the two okay this one actually says love cries openly at sad movies oh boy am I going to know what I've got to say about that straight away so universe one card from Louise's deck please just something that represents what the whole world needs for the next week something that we can all use or that we're already using something that we may have to consider in our own lives if we're not already doing it okay just one card please one card it's all I ask for one card for what the universe wants me to do for the next week oh it's trying to show me a couple here okay there's a couple trying but I like it when they just flick out like landing on the floor like the other two did right all right let's go there come on babies one card for what the world needs for the next week we just keep thinking of our intention or that question throw me a card that the universe wants us to learn wants us to demonstrate or wants us to be more a part of if we're not already doing it more oh there goes the card so Louise's pack I'll put them over here so you can see no sleight of hand oh okay so this one which way do you want me to go first in line okay all right so I'll firstly show you this is the alchemy card and I'll leave it there in case you want to pause the screen so you can have a read of it but I'm going to read this out okay it's the alchemy card and just to show you the beautiful picture wow what does that represent in you straight away um, comment below guys on this video and tell me what you think of that picture because Louise actually does these artworks herself okay so the first card is here it's number eight in the major arcana so let me just go to my major arcana cards because I never want to give misinformation so I always go back to the cards okay number eight five one 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 is eight and we now have strength feminine qualities such as patience and diplomacy as opposed to aggression combined with courage will achieve the results and bring success the strength card reveals that you have a reserve of inner strength that provides you with more power than you realize this can be expressed through quiet determination this card can also symbolize feminine charms to which men succumb so it is particularly strong in a woman's reading um, regarding relationships okay so I'm going to leave that card open So now let me read the alchemy card, okay? Earth and sun, sublime counterparts. Sun's light resonates the earth's beating heart. Life reaches forth to embrace the sun's rays. We are blessed by sweet light as we greet each new day. Great solar being, essence divine. Illuminating our world, marking cycles of time forming and merging in an alchem alchemic distance the splendor of this union holds us entranced through eons of time sun has supported earth in harmonious balance for life to come forth sacred connection celestial perfection long may your souls be aligned so first of all we have the alchemy card which virtually represents to me that everything is in alignment okay great solar being essence divine great solar being essence divine so you know we've got to remember here guys 
everything that's happening now on the planet is only a blink in the eternal existence of our souls. We get so consumed by what's happening the now in our present that we forget the perspective of what comes in years later when we look back and say, wow, I didn't realize at that time how it all fell into place. Okay, so this is actually saying that we're all connected, that every beating heartbeat of every single person on the planet, every single animal, life form, and other things like my red nail polish and my rock, we're all connected. We all have this unified reason of existence through our consciousness for the better of the whole existence. We can't get too consumed, guys, with what's happening with your government, with your policing, with your neighbours, your co-workers, even your bosses' own perspectives. So this card here, the strength, comes in now. Because the strength card, remember the word, is quiet. We don't have to go out there and voice our opinions to every person on the planet. We can hold our true beliefs. And through that patriotic, I'll just go there, patriotic way of hanging on to our beliefs and ensuring their survival, we don't have to make those ripples in other people's lives either, okay? This is how also we stop, to, we stop being accusing and judgmental. We allow others to do what they want without letting it affect us and our own reality of what we're trying to create, okay? So let me just go back into my tarot book where it says the strength card reveals that you have a reserve of inner strength. We don't know the depths of our strength until we're put into opportunities where we must demonstrate it. Yes, we don't know how caring we are until we find an injured bird. We don't know how kind we are until we see someone fall over and we run over to give them aid, right? Um, this can be expressed through quiet determination. So it's not saying don't act. It's just saying, guys, stand back and don't let your ego make you react to what others are doing. Reacting is only a ripple effect created from what someone else has done. Okay, that's what reacting is. Someone screams at us, we scream back because we're reacting to that same vibration that they're putting out. So when people do attack you, when they put you down, when they segregate you or discriminate against you for any purpose, you quietly don't join that vibration. You put up your guard of strength and then what you do is you stand firm in your ground knowing that what you believe is right, whether you're over here or over here. Because at the end of the day, only people on your same frequency will be attracted to you, yes? So this little card with the little dove, I love these little cards. Look at him. It's a little dove with wings on it says, love cries openly at sad movies. Now, <laughs> this is the one that's really intriguing me today. Love cries at sad movies. Isn't this whole thing being played out now? Isn't this just a movie? Think about it. How many actors, how many scripts are being spoken about right now? Okay? They want us to be sad. They want us down in our de um, depression they want us down in our isolation so then we 
um, our mental health deteriorates and ultimately that is our lowered vibrational state, yes? So love cries openly at sad movies. I interpret this as a compassion. Compassion. So when somebody is showing you the narrative of what's going on out there, we stand in our strength and our alchemy and we say to ourselves, do I believe the script of what's being said? Do I want to go along with those actors and do I most of all support their cause? Because at the end of the day, guys, we all have free will. And as long as we keep going with our own free will, own decisions, and our own beliefs, we will stand strong because we've got the strength card for us today. So I hope that these three cards have given you something for the next week. Go and Google them. You know, I don't ever say I'm an expert at tarot. Okay, I'm not ex expert at anything. That's why I'm not a guru. So I'm going to put these cards up if you do wish to pause and read them. Go and research what does the strength card mean. Research what is a sad movie. Oops. <laughs> put it on upside down, didn't I? But most of all, listen to the words from Louise Benton. Okay, because what does she say down the bottom? Sacred connection. We don't have to live with our tribe. Gosh, I've got friends in the USA. I live in Australia. They couldn't be further from me than the worst, but worst part away. They're here and I'm way over here on the planet. So sacred connection is our vibration. Celestri celestial perfection is knowing that the universe, God, heaven, our angels and archangels, they're watching us, okay? They're watching us. Long may your souls be aligned means that the more we align ourselves to the true, beautiful, universal energies and the frequency of that energy, the more we are being looked after, ultimately. I don't want to really say too much more today, guys. Or else we could get this video banned. But I will be doing a video this week. I hope you will enjoy the one I'm going to do. Because it sort of relates to all the stuff going on. Okay. Love yous all. I hope that you've got something from these cards. Please click the like or subscribe button if you want to see more of these. And I'm also going to start doing some ghost stories, etc. Coming out soon too. Okay. Love your work, guys. Hope you all have a great weekend. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.